Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at data binding in a WPF project using the Visual Studio 2022. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have it. So let's get into it then. So data binding in a Windows presentation foundation, WPF provides a simple and consistent way for apps to present and interact with data. So elements can be bound to data from different kinds of data sources in the form of .NET objects and XML. So enough of all of this. So let's get into the real stuff here. We're not going to waste time on this video. So for this video, obviously, we're going to start. We're going to create a WPF project. So as you can see, I've got to create a new project dialog showing. So let's select um, desktop and WPF app using the C sharp, yeah? So here, obviously, you can configure in the project details, but we're not going to look too much into that. So here, we just click on the Create. So now we have the project created. This is what we're going to do next. We, we come into the code behind here. So you can open this by you know expanding the main, main window .xml. And here, obviously, you can open the code behind here. So once you're done with that bit here, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna create another class here. So I always here. public class. We're gonna call it person. And we're gonna inherit this interface, I notify. I notify property change. And obviously, we're going to extract the member. We're going to implement the interface. Oh, man. Just a sec, please. OK, so we're just going to put it here. And Obviously, we expand this bit and implement the interface. So this is all we're going to do for here. So now we're going to put some properties and fields inside. So first of all, we have a string. And this will be underscore full name. Yeah. Then we're going to put this property full name. So uh, we're just going to put public string full name and get and uh, return the full name, um, the full name um, field. Yeah. So with our set. Before we do that, we're just going to put this method here. Um, protected void. So this um, property change. So this is the method that we're going to put. Yeah. So now this is what we do. We we get we put our set as well the set and here obviously we set our underscore f name to be our um, the value. Then uh, then um, the method on property change. Yeah, so we put this as well. So inside here, inside uh, the protected void on property change, this is what we're going to do. Put the if. 
So as you can see, if um, property change, then we, we do this bit here. So we just, just follow the video, right? So if um, property change is not now, then we call this here yeah, the property change method, right? So this is what we're going to do for here for now, yeah? Okay, so right now we come inside the, the main the main window that XAML. So this is what we're gonna do for here. We're just gonna expand this bit here and we're gonna give this a name. So it's X name, yeah. X name is, is we're gonna do it P contest, like a person contest. Yeah, so we come inside uh, uh, the code behind and we go inside the main window, the main window, and after the initialized components, this is what we're going to do. So we're going to put a, a P contest dot data contest, yeah? Mm -hmm. Data contest, we set that to. So before we do that, obviously we're gonna create a field for the person. So person, person, uh, we, initial, we initialize it. It's equal to a new person. Okay, so here, the data contest will be the person. Okay, so that's that's what we have for here for now, yeah. So we come back to the to the main window. We're just gonna put two labels. So inside uh, the grid, yeah, we're just gonna come inside our toolbox and come on to this for WPS. So uh, we look for the label. Let's put a label here and. The level we're just gonna change. We're just gonna change the the font size, okay? So I'm just gonna make twenty five for the font size. So I'm gonna copy this label. and paste it here. Yeah, so we have got, we're gonna have two labels here. So I'm just gonna. Drag one here, okay. So the first label, what I'm gonna do is just gonna change the content here, yeah? and I'm just gonna put full name. And I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna select the second label. And I'm gonna put it here a bit. Okay. So here on the second label, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna put binding, right? So inside uh sorry, the contents. We're gonna put curly bracket here, we're gonna try to put the binding. So the binding part equal to full name. Okay, so we got to bear in mind that um, our main windows put the contest here, and we've actually set the contest um, to the person. Okay, so we come back here and. We're going to put another text box. Yeah. Coming back to the two. So we put a text box here as well. So uh, the text box, we're going to, uh, we're just going to put um, the binding as well here. So our binding. And the path will be full name. 
So this is actually referencing if you come inside a, the person class or this full name, that's what it's actually referencing. So, and if we look at it here, we have this as um, we're just going to change the F to a capital F and the N to a capital N. Okay, so we're going to do the same for this. Okay, so that's fine. So here, inside the method here, before the string here, we're going to put something as well. We're going to put a column member. A column member name. And here, we're going to set the property to a null. Yeah, so this is what we're going to change for here for now. Okay, so we come back to the to thumbnail tonight. I mean, design. So here, I'm just going to make the test a bit bigger. So here, um, I'm going to make the test test a little bit bigger. So we change the font size. We're going to make it 24. Okay. So that's this is what we're gonna do here for now. And then inside of inside, I mean here, I'm just gonna expand this a bit. On this test box here, we're gonna handle one event. So we, we check on it here and we select the event sign. And we're gonna scroll down to um And we're gonna we want we're looking for a test test change event, yeah. So this is what we're looking for, test change event. We're gonna double click it and this should create a it will we, this will be created for us, yeah. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do. So if that test is changed, all we're gonna do is we're gonna so here we come back to the demo and on the text box here yeah, we give it the text box a name yeah okay f name test yeah so that's just for full name test yeah. So we come back to the, the the code behind here, and we go inside that this bit here. So this is what we do. So we set the test. So we can say the person. That's for the person field. Um, that full name is equal to um, the test. F name test, sorry, F name test dot test. So we set that to the test. Yeah, so this is what we do. Okay. So from here for now, we're just gonna run it to see what actually comes out. Okay. So I'm just gonna run it. So here, as you can see, we have the full name. That's just um, the label that we put inside. So if we test any name, the full name that we've got on our second label has to be updated. So as you can see, so like if I say Mike Lee, so as you can see, we've got the data binders here. So we can it, it, it gets updated on this second bit here. So as you can see, the first name, Okay, we just let's put um, something that will make this. So let's say enter full name. Yeah. So if I, as you can see, we have this enter full name here. So if we try to cancel this bit, so you see the mic list canceled. So if we put 
here Italy that is also reflected on the on that label here so as this is the magic of data binding so I hope you understand the whole thing and I'm just gonna I'm, I'm just gonna make sure that I pass I pass you around the code so that you don't miss anything so just have a look here then you go inside and the code behind so I'm just going to start from the top yeah so you you can pause wherever when that, that you want and you make sure you make some changes if you've got any so once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up and I hope you have a lovely morning afternoon evening wherever you are stay blessed bye bye